Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is the Warmaster Phoenix bringing you a new video from Star Wars The Old Republic. And today I am discussing credit farming. Yes. Farming credits on mass scale. The ability to become a millionaire overnight. Or in this case, over a few hours. If not that. Now, a lot of people have uh, been doing videos on how to do it with uh, crafting and stuff like that. But I'm going to do a unique version. I'm going to combine it all into one video. This is uh, for everybody. This isn't just for the level uh, 60s. I'm using this level 60 here as my, my main character, Scarbrand, as a basis. Uh, you don't really need to be level 60. I can show you other videos, or I can make more videos on me doing it at every level in the game. You can do this at any level, but this is what we're going to be doing today. And it's called phase harvesting. So we go down here. And this is uh, the black hole, as you can't really see because of the recorder up in the corner there. I don't know how to hide that yet, so I'm still getting used to this program. But we go in here, and this is uh, for level 50s and above. That would normally be done by what is it? Oh dear, let me think. Yeah, level 50s would normally be doing this area as part of their daily routine. I'm going to be using it to my advantage now uh, to do credit harvesting. So, normally you'd come in here, you'd speak to, I think it's uh, this guy here, or even her. I'm not even sure who it is you speak to for the daily, mainly because I did this a couple of days ago and I haven't got ridden, gotten rid of the actual. Uh, mission but it could be there or it could be out there but the thing that you want is if I click on this mission for a moment here and scroll down a little bit is this the heroic four in the black hole area which is uh, what was it end of uh, Torvix so this is for the level 60s but you can do this as long as you've got a phase this is the main point of phase credit farming is that it is to do with a phase and what is a phase are you asked well a phase is an area that you can't enter unless you've got a mission in that area that is literally all it is and we're talking mainly about heroic twos heroic fours that have that are mission dependent areas now if i'm right yes i know i'm riding the kingpin rancor as a hint I, what was it before the latest update, when they got when they done away with the the thing, I put roughly seven million into getting this, so I can't really complain. But I haven't really been doing any credit farming, so I thought I'll take the time, uh, the time today to do a, a brief video on it before I do any serious credit farming to get my funds back up. Because as you can see, I've got a little over two million, and I'm, that basically means I'm broke. I'm broke, guys. What can I do? Well, I'm going to show you. Right, this here is where we're going. Let's get rid of him. Now I'm out here. Now, when, before you enter a phase, make sure that you can own everything in the area. So, to check that, uh, see a mob, and if you can one-shot it or anything like that so I'm just gonna make what I know I can but just for demonstration purposes yeah I'm slightly overpowered for this area <laughs> yeah the moment you realize that you're overpowered for any particular area these phases become sort of like the bread and butter of credit farming and it has to be done it is so so easy so what you do is and this is just for a demonstration because I'm not actually going to be making, uh, going through the entire run. But what I do is I go inside, I kill absolutely everything in the face. I go outside, even though it may say that the mission is complete. I will now demonstrate. In fact, it was easier if I just demonstrate solid. So I've run inside and now I'm going to slaughter everything in the area. And forgive me if I waffle. But, you know, let's just kill everything here. Let's not even bother hanging around. 
you notice my health bar is not dropping fast enough. I'm killing everything. Even when I'm stood still inside this flamethrower. It's like, yeah, you're really not hurting me at this point. <laughs> Die. Yep, that's the first mob. And let's see how much we get. Oh, look, we get 2,215 credits. Oh, this guy died as well. Crap, his credit is worth 300. 301. Every credit counts. And let's slaughter this lot. A nice leisurely pace of slaughtering. And you're dead. Oh, another 1700 there. And there's another mob over here. This is easy money. Oh no, they're getting down towards a quarter of my health dead, and I've killed three mobs. Well, I'm about to kill three mobs, but, you know. Oh look, they're all dead. And we got a green drop as well, which is nice. There we go, seven, another 1700 there. So, as you can see, my credits are going up like from 224 two, earlier. It's now 223, so I'm not going to complain. And I get to sell all the stuff anyway, but all the stuff, uh, the garbage that drops. So, my advice is go in with an empty bag. That way you can just keep going in and out and in and out. And eventually you get so much stuff you have to sell it. And to sell off the the trash, let's uh, get rid of that. Or the garbage, or whatever you want to call it, the rubbish. So I sent off my HK, and he's come back with another 1500 credits. And now I'm outside. Now if I just walk back in again, oh look, they're all still dead. That's a problem. I want to harvest this area. So what I want to do is I click on the mission. I hit the reset phase. Or reset. I reset the thing again. And if I walk inside again. Oh look, they're miraculously brought back to life. Now what I'd normally do is, uh, that was just a demonstration, but I'd actually run through the entire thing, kill off everything, take all the credits, take all the green items, all the blue items, and any purple drops, and I would sell it all. Uh, purple items like uh, luxury stuff or like your strongholds or anything like that would go on the GTN. Green and blue items go straight into vendor trash. So. That's basically all that you do in phase in phase uh, harvesting for credits. That's all you have to do. Go inside, kill off everything, come outside, reset the phase, and repeat. That is all you have to do. And eventually, you do get a lot of credits, and it is not that hard to do. As you can see, I mean, come on, you saw my health, but it wasn't moving much beyond that point. <laughs> and before you ask, no, I am not using Elite or the, what is it, the ultimate gear at level 60. I do not see the point if in a couple of months time they're only going to upgrade the game again. You know, yeah, you have the most badass gear with badass uh, attributes and all that, but, but just for going around having fun, what's the point honestly and if you want a credit farm and you want to become rich you don't want to be spending out all your time all of that dosh on getting getting the best gear for absolutely the best unless you want to do it this is your game you make up the decision I'm not gonna make it up for you but as a hint this is what my character runs in yeah 190 stuff, there's 186, 190, 186, 186, 190, you know, it, it, like, you can see a pattern forming here, you know what I mean, the bound relics, I mean, that I crafted myself, I mean, a lot of this stuff I crafted myself from different areas, and 
you know, it's I don't see the point in going out and getting ultimately the best stuff if only in a couple of months they update it again and then I have to go out and get it again and it's a constant grind but you know just release of that particular thing and just use the game for for the way it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be fun tree is fun that's my opinion though drop a comment in the comments below let me know what you think and uh, open a discussion on this particular matter but yeah, that's part one. Now there's three ways I'm going to show you this evening. That was way number one. Way number two is... No, I don't want to do that actually. Way number two. All right, first of all, we're going to do this in order. So I'm going to go to my Nash Stars uh, Stronghold. I'm not going to give you a tour. I've already done a tour video. It's not the best video I've ever made. But, you know, it's uh, getting there. Now I've got this new program set up. It should be okay. But yes, it's a loading screen. The bane of my existence. I think 80% of the time I'm spending loading screens, I'm also going off doing other things. But yeah, this is my national complex, as you know. Now, the thing that you want to do next is, if you've got anything, is selling stuff on the GTN. Hang on, let me just dump this stuff here and I'll show you roughly what I am talking about. So around there. Yeah, there we go. Now <sighs> the next thing is market trading. Market trading is uh easy. You don't need a lot of credits to do it. And what you require is patience. That gun belongs in there. <laughs> and today we will be looking at selling, say, market trading. A good example for market trading. Ah, oh, yes. In fact, you can see it here. This is market trading. Now, if I go and take. Yeah, the worst rifle ever produced in this game, which is this. Now, I bought that for a grand total of 50 credits. That particular rifle was 50 credits on the GTN. Let's see how much she's worth now. They've done away with the pack. Oh dear. It seems that my investment of 50 credits, as you can see, may have actually produce dividends and I will say this is one of the worst rifles they've ever produced because let's look at it it's it just evilly lo looking and that is now going for 350,000 credits but I bought this rifle for 50 credits how is this possible it's called supply and demand when there is an overwhelming supply you buy when there is a, a, no, a virtually non-existent supply, you sell. It's that simple. It is that simple. I have got a stupid amount of these rifles spread for over all of my 22 characters that I bought en masse. And if I went to sell them now, even if I spent a thousand credits, I'm now not. Oh, well, I'm trebling. You know. Do the math. I just spent 50 credits getting that. Look how much it's worth now. 350,000 credits. How does that work? Hmm? So if I was to sell this now, which I am going to do because I've got way too many of these things and I need the money. So I'm going to sell it. And the way I sell is that this thing has been up here, it's going to be up here for two days at 350,000 credits. I am not going to uh, deny it, that guy, he's held onto that rifle loyally for X number, so I'm going to match his offer. 350,000 credits for two days. Deposit of one credit. Done. It may sell, it may not, it may just flop, but it's up there at that price. I mean, I don't know if you guys are going to remember if you've actually played Star Wars The Old Republic or anything like that, but 
a lot of this stuff people were vendor trashing this particular blaster as well as you can tell I've got a lot of them there's one two three four five there's five of those blasters there now let's see how much these are going for I picked up a load of those at about a thousand credits each right there now I think uh, 140,000 yeah I think I will keep that in the bank and just watch the money go up so I'll put it in back I'm not gonna bother anymore but I know that one's going for about 350,000 uh, there's a load of these in here I mean if I just take one of those ones out come on open up And that one's going for. I'll pick that. I'll pick up those rifles for about a hundred uh, credits each. So I'm thinking, I'm, right? This is buying stuff on bulk and then selling it later on for a stupid amount of money. That is basically all you're doing. It's an, it's called investing or market playing. So I'm gonna go out there and I can make a load of money doing that. And that one is more of a long-term project. That is something that you would buy something for a stupid amount of money. I mean. As a proof of purchase, now I got this particular little gem about a year ago. Well, no, it must be about three years ago now. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, where have I put it? Ah, there it is. Revan's mask. I got that for a cool. Well, was out of a pack and at the time that mask was going for one million credits that was all one million credits for that I thought well I'm not I want the entire set which I still do I do want the entire set but <sighs> the cheapest now is going for a little under seven million Investments for the future, I think. I mean, the most expensive one there is 45 million. And there are more expensive masks out there. So just get stuff, put it in the bank, forget you got it. Quite literally, forget you got it. Don't even think about just selling it off because somebody somewhere is going to buy them all up and eventually your one will be the last one left on the market. It's facts. I mean, like this sniper rifle here. That was something. I, it's not even in the right hold. I've got to actually put it in the right hold. But this sniper rifle, yeah, it's a hair dryer. I mean, look at that barrel. It is a hair dryer. It looks like something off of War of the Worlds, the 1970s version, you know. So let's have a look and see how much this is going for. A hundred thousand. You know, that's hundred thousand credits that I could do with. Admittedly, it's not a lot, but you know, the ability to buy a lot is there. Let's have a look here. See what else we got here. Uh, the flag of Rishi. I'm not even sure if this pack is still available that I got this out of. So. There you go, look, uh, 174,000 credits for that. If I hold on to that until the pack goes walking, that'll go up. The price of a lot of stuff goes up as those packs are whittled out of the market. I mean, it's not that like they're gonna, not going to be repeat, repeated later on. So do that. Go, let them be repeated. And, uh, well, the last way I am going to show you to make credits now this evening is by doing strong hop, uh, by doing uh, flashpoint runs. Now, flashpoint runs is one of those things that you're either going to do it or you're not. You can't answer it hoping that you don't get killed or anything like that because if you know that you're going to get killed, just don't bother. You can harvest any flashpoint that you're going to get any drops off of. So, for me, my harvest points are the Battle of Ilum, the Emperor's Palace, and 
Mandalorian Raiders or the Red Reaper but you can choose any of those flashpoints any flashpoint in the game that you can walk through on your own at level 15 you can uh, what is it? I think you can start doing the Black Talon but you may want to hold off until you're at least level 20, level 30 before try running out on your own. It's more of an advanced area to try and harvest. But you still get decent drops. You still get a lot of uh, things that you can sell on the GTN. I mean, I'm not going anywhere near the flash points at the moment. I'm just uh, taking my uh, character to see what's going on in the... Uh, well, going on over here. No, that's the drawn cast out of the way. My bad. Wrong way. <laughs> that's me not watching what I'm doing. Too busy waffling. So, yeah. This is literally what I do to make all the money I've got. And, the, oh yeah, there's also crafting and so on and so forth. And crafting is a little bit more of a market play. Because you need to see what the market's doing. Now, the market being who you're planning on selling to if you're going out there and say if I wanted to I can make up a load of rare crystals you know so let's see what they're doing on the rare crystal front let's go over there now look there's another GTN there so I'm going to have a look and see what rare crystals they've got I mean me that's my personal thing I mean you got Every particular crafting area has got a diff its own thing, like whether it be stims, implants, mods, enhancements, lightsaber hilts, crystals, blasters, anything, whatever you want to make, make it, but you've got to learn how to play the market. And I'm going to show you a little trick now. So let's go for... Purple crystal. Let's type that up there. Let's see what comes up. And the cheapest one is large formation purple crystal, so on and so forth. And now you got rares and not so rares. Now this is not a su not such a rare crystal, and it's still going for 145,000 credits. Yep, you've got ones that are going on for the carry on that. There we go. Actually, look, there's one. There's one I can make. It goes for 200,000 credits. Okay, and to get that, you need to know what you need. You need to know what you have to craft it with. So, if I press N, bring up my companions. And always try and use the companion that gives you the crits. So, if you hold your... Well, actually, if you bring up the guy that can... Uh, like, this one's got Artificer... Uh, uh, efficiency, which is uh, Kim Val. Really? Want to buy contracts 40k each? <laughs> Kiss my ass. I'm not paying that for that. What's the matter with you? So, yeah, let's go on to level rating. Now, these are level 50 crystals that I can make. You have the cayenne crystals, not so rare. And then you got the purples, which I can make. And that's the sort of thing you need there is the my tag. So now you need to weigh it off how much it will cost for your to get all the credits uh, for all of the crafting materials that you need. So in this case, I've only got one my tag. So let's have a look and see what, how much of my tag is going for. My tag crystal, just one is, well, you're looking at 10% of your possible profit is going to be lost. So now you're looking at oh, 180,000 uh, profit margin if you actually uh, buy that crystal, send off Kim Val and uh, craft it himself. Uh, craft it. So weigh it off if it costs more to buy the material off of the. Uh, GTN, I mean that's just one crystal, in order to get multiple crystals made, I'm going to have to put out some serious cash, because, I mean, like, it's 30, therefore, 80, you know, I mean, that's, yeah, okay, it is still, it will tell you there, 
as you hold over this. Well, you can even look at that unit price. You know, that's still a little bit too rich for my blood. Especially considering a single one up here is only 20,000 a unit. You're paying the guy extra so he can have a. Uh, but you can also sort out by unit price. You know, the most expensive one there is a one, uh, what, a three, four hundred and fifty. No, I would rather buy three. Yeah, the unit price is fifty. Uh, I'd rather buy three for sixty thousand. Thank you very much. Or what is it? Sixty and twenty, forty. So seventy thousand for three in comparison to the fifty thousand he wants for three. Uh, 150,000 he was for yeah you know play the market don't be don't be a, a ditz you know what I mean so here is end of the today's lesson if you guys have any uh, questions or anything like that you can hit me up in, in the game I'm on the progenitor server send me a mail to scarbrand all one word as you can see scarbrand or you can uh, leave me a message in the comments, uh, please subscribe. The more people that uh, give me feedback, the better my channel can hopefully become. So everyone works, uh, everyone's happy. Alright, well uh, this is out, peace guys, and I will speak to you in the next video. In the next video I'm thinking, covering uh, what worlds and uh, what what's good and the negative about each world. Uh, Storyline wise and uh, other, uh, what is it, basic gameplay wise. And I'm going to be starting off on the Imperial side on uh, Korriban and uh, working my way up to Nashadar. So I will speak to you guys in the next video. Uh, take care and uh, may the force be with you.